We're coming to you live from Detroit Rock City at Gord Field, where it's an absolute free-for-all. The stakes are high, and so am I. It's in the air tonight, Grim. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the NFL. The team storm the field. The Carolina Panthers battle the Motor City Maniacs. Welcome to NFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yeah, man, I was going to get them now. You know what happened? Are you ready for some NFL action? Am I? I love MILFs! Newtons I'd like to fuck! He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you halfwit. Ow! Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime milk lingerie girls team! What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all! Ho ho! Va 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 boom! And it's first and ten. Punched his way out of that tackle. Well, that is one big mutant sandwich down there. One guy's definitely toast. That's what you call a club sandwich, Grim. Second down and six. Quarterback calls a sonic blast, gets the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's... Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they had raincoats in the front row, because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. Cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. And it's first and ten. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Never get into a dance off with a robot. They're programmed to perfectly execute dance moves with just the right amount of sass. like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Eh, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot. It was a risky throw and the defense made him pay. He'll have to hope for amnesia. Or... He broke free and has open field in front of him. to go they run it for a yard <laughs> second down and seven That's a catch for a four-yard gain. Third down and three. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down his guy in a speed feed trip. He's running from his game.
Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What? And kick the kicker's job in half? They just... It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And he just slipped away like a go. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. And they run it for a couple of yards. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And that'll be second and eight to go. Picks up two yards on the catch. And that'll bring up third down and seven. Receiver runs away from the pass marker? That's a good clue that something's not right. The punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And it's first and ten. Point with multiple interceptions. The QB should just throw in the time. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, Good night to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And it's first and ten. but at just three yards. Second down and seven. And with another pick, the QB says... You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. Get up my grill. I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. First and ten. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! And it's first and ten. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. The greatest kicks of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Well. And he's off. Oh, man. Bricks, you got to love a player who goes down fighting. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> got to love it. The offense is down to their last running back. When he bites the dust, they can only pass. Yeah, well, at least they don't have to forfeit, man. That's right, but now the defense can focus on killing the receivers. First and ten. Oh, 
like he just ran into the line at the DMV. And that's how you shock the monkey. Thunderclap! Second down and 10. And the defense goes for the juggler and rushes to kill the quarterback. And on some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Second down and long. Defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> up three on that pass play. Ooh, oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. Second down and seven. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. The defender says, I don't think so. Kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got bloodthirsty mutants on the defensive line. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big portage John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. Don't nobody light a match. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. And the offensive 
worst disaster. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. First and ten. Oh man, he re It's a nice catch for five yards. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort. And he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Pick. Man, this quarter. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's another turnover for the defense. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and ten. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, the defense must have called a hot potato dirty trick. That'll wake you up and then put you to sleep permanently. You snooze, you lose! Unless you're in a sleeping contest. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and an eight-yard gain on that one. Like when Bricks' his mom decided to move back in with us. Second down and two. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. I would have thought you had to have muscles to move like that. Or a brain or a nervous system, but I see your point, Bricks. Two running backs left, and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for the Zachman. I like this. They're going for two. And he runs it in for an easy two points. The momentum in this game may be shifting. Uh, those are just my balls. for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one-time thing. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. 
Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. Bring up second and one. He could go all oh man, Bricks, you gotta love a player who goes down fighting. And that's quite a creative and intuitive dance he's doing. Hey Grim, what do you call a wolf who was intuitive? I don't know what. And a werewolf! <laughs> oh man, I just cracked myself up. <laughs> Either way, they're going for two. And they run it in for two points. Hey, just think three years ago, Bricks, this robot was a fake ATM machine stealing millions. Now he's scoring in front of millions. That's NFL football, folks. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. And it's first and ten. points you need to get them back here comes the kickoff let's see if they can make them pay oh look at this guy break tackles boom and like the titanic his ship just went down hey hey i almost got dead mutant bingo all i need is 77 to bite it The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. And the ground game is starting. Oh, holy smokes. He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. The offense calls a timeout. This is why you save your timeouts. You can use them in the two-minute warning. Now I get it. Makes sense, Grim. And it's first and ten. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Second down and ten. Yeah, man, I was huge on the now. You know, yeah. 
<laughs> the QB saves some clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. Third down, and the punter is warming up. And the defense gets another pick. Oh, with a punishing hit. down and nine. It's a jailbreak and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Send a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. Second down in a lot. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy Division and weep tonight. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had shown on today. Looks like it's a good fit. And they take their last time out. It's between them and the clock now, Grim. Well, and the defense, too. And the offense goes into a hurry up to pick up the pace of the game. Ah, another interception. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. First and ten. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the... Oh, great tackle! When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about bad hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. The drive was stalled, and here comes the field goal attempt. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are... The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room, and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. The start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where are we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, I'm going to go to a strategic show. Where are we going? Yeah, hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> Here comes the kicker. I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. And he just slipped away like a greased pig. First and ten. You can tell he's a berserker because he's frothing at the mound. Oh, oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's 
First and ten. Looks clueless out there. And it's first and ten. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. I'm a house Should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. First and ten. Look out, that's an all-out attack on the QB. It's not how many times you fall, it's how you get back up. Yeah, in this particular case, I'm thinking defibrillators and 100 cc's of adrenaline. Yeah, an eight ball wouldn't hurt either. Did somebody say cocaine? The offense is down to their last quarterback. If they lose him, they lose the game. And it's first and ten. <laughs> And he's running like a moose right now. The quarterback goes down. Zoom on his face. I want to see if he's crying. <laughs> Second down in a mile. Another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. You gotta love a player who goes down fighting. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me. The offense is down to their last running back. No rest for the weary. The last runner has to suck it up and hopefully not die. And it's first and ten. Oh, 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 oh. Punishing hit, the quarterback goes down. at the line of scrimmage. Second down and five. Ah, 
another interception. You should give this guy a bigger Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got quit the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. First and ten. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy in the same color. Oh, devastating hit! You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? Yep. Third grade. Sister Mary Margaret and our ladies of holy hell. I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. It's first and ten. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Is that right, Quinn? That penalty makes no sense. Yeah, something ain't kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. This is a first and and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. <laughs> first down in a mile. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, what a brutal hit! Hey, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about, pilot? And it's first and ten. Oh. Oh. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in. Oh, he just got crushed. <laughs> and it's first and ten. He had nowhere to go and got nothing out of it. Second down and ten. First down! Give this guy... Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I had to check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more! And it's first and ten. With another pick, the QB said he's rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. Cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. team after the game third down and never gonna happen 
Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off season. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on MFL Game Day. Uh, MFL, it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. And it's first and ten. And that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. And another interception. This quarterback is going to look... Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned a guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. Man, you can't hit a guy much harder than that. Oh, yeah. And that is unfortunate. <laughs> First and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mute boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. <laughs> the Motor City Maniacs get their butts whipped and lose by forfeit. It's probably a good thing the game ended up in forfeit. They weren't going to make it out of the stadium alive with this performance anyway. The fans were going to kill them if the opposition didn't. Gotta love that fan passion. Let's hear what the game's MVP has to say about this carnage. I'd rather listen to Sarah Palin read the entire works of Shakespeare about tripping my brains out. Uh, actually, that sounds kind of fun. Brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.